Jager how's it feel just to get back out there and, and play a half a footy? Yeah, it's a surreal feeling. Um, obviously, I haven't played it for a long time, and, and to get the first one out of the way and get through unscathed and, and feeling good about myself, um, yeah, it's awesome. And, and, and to get the win, too, obviously, in the NAFL, uh, we want guys pushing up to, to get in, back into the seniors and, and to create that winning culture, so it was good to get the win, too. How was that first sort of contest and first sort of run and all that sort of stuff? Yeah, it was, it was funny, actually. Um, I was playing on the wing, and, and the first contest, the ball, the ball fell my way, so I settled the nerves a little bit and then uh, I felt a lot more comfortable after that first touch. Jake, you, you took a mark out in the forward pocket, I think, or maybe out of, coming out of the fence. Yep. That would have been where your knee got tested because you, you landed awkwardly. Yep. And then you picked up a ground level ball at full pace and that's probably would put the hammy under pressure. And yep. after that, you seem to go up a gear like you thought, well, yep. I'm, 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 in, I'm not going to get hurt. Yeah. Yeah, I've done, I've done a lot of that stuff in training, obviously. Um, obviously, I wouldn't have played if I hadn't have done it uh, previously, but um, when, you, when you're against an opposition, obviously, the competitiveness goes up again. So, uh, to test, test myself out in the first half there, um, I take a lot of confidence out of that, for sure. I didn't see you fumble. Like, it was, you were very clean. Were you surprised? I've done a lot of touch work over the last yeah. 14 months. Um, uh, obviously not, a bit, not being able to run, so I've been in the rehab group and, and trying to drive the standards in, in the touch group. So done a lot of work on that and um, hopefully I can continue to be clean. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's, I know, you're, you're, like you're young, and, but there's a lot of... Half the game of Neefle footy has lifted the spirits of a whole footy club today. We saw one of your directors, he's on cloud nine, yeah. staff, coaches, everyone. Like it's a... Yeah. Happy day for the footy club. Yeah, it's not. It's not just all about me. Obviously, there's a lot of other people that have put a lot of hard work and, and time and effort into getting me back to playing. So I appreciate everything that they've done for me, and especially my my rehab coordinator and Alex Rigby and my physio uh, Lindsay Gall and the team that they've got around them. They've been um, phenomenal the whole way along. So uh, credit where credit's uh, due, and I'd like to thank them. Yeah. Can sure. you just tell us about the relief? Like you must have had some doubts over the whole journey, but coming in here today, like how you were, how you were feeling? Yeah, yeah uh, I guess along the way you have the doubts, and um, uh, obviously doing this, a significant injury like this, there's there's bigger doubts and that kind of thing. But I take a lot of confidence out of the training that I've done over the last uh, two to three months, and. Um, I was never going to play unless I was 100% confident in my body again. So, uh, for the club to give me the time to, to to be able to do that and not not rush me, um, I'm thankful for that. And yeah, it's just great to be back out there again and playing footy because that's obviously what I love to do. Did you sleep last night? Yeah, I actually slept like a little baby. Um, I slept worse the night before for some reason. Uh, so yeah, I was I was uh, yeah pretty confident that I'd, I'd get through fine. And, um, obviously, massive relief now. You can see your confidence build almost like you were a little bit not reluctant early on, but the more yeah. the time wore on, you were trying to make more contests and get involved. Does that feel like that out there? Again? Yeah, that's right. And um, obviously, yeah, work my way into the game. Uh, I didn't expect to come out and, and do anything special. I just wanted to wanted to get through and help the team. And, and I felt like uh, I tried to um, lead out there as well and use my voice. So uh, that was that was the main thing. It wasn't it wasn't about coming out and, and doing anything special. It was just about getting through and helping the team. Have you, set, have you set yourself any sort of time frame in terms of trying to return to senior footy? Uh, not not really. I've I've put a lot of focus into just this game, and obviously it's a small step, and I want to um, get on to bigger and better things. But uh, just I'll, I'll I guess I'll. Um, celebrate the occasion. Uh, I've got my family and, and a few friends here. One of my best mates has surprised me today by coming up. So uh, I'll celebrate with them tonight with a nice dinner or something like that and then get on to next week and hopefully play some extended minutes next week. But not thinking too far ahead at the moment. What was the best part about today for you? Was it being out in the field? I mean, seeing the atmosphere, just again being in the change rooms? I mean, was there a point where you just sort of thought, perhaps then going into that? Yeah, I guess um, being an AFL footballer, you love playing footy, so I haven't been able to do that for a long time. And um, I think I've, play, I've played half a game in the last 18 months or whatever it is. So just to be back playing with my teammates, that I come to work with every day, and also to see the smiles and the faces of the people around the club that have helped me out uh, the whole way along, as well as my family and my friends, has, has probably been the biggest thing, and, and that's put a smile on my face as well.